And this past year has been really tough on our friends in the restaurant business. We've watched landmarks in Cleveland, like Doug Katz's Fire and Food and Drink, close their doors for good. While others try everything imaginable to stay open from buying new air filtration systems to building outdoor dining spaces, but restaurant owners have told us they're optimists and now we want to do our part. Yes, 3 News is kicking off a brand new campaign to help these struggling restaurants. Austin Love is taking us through the emotions of the past year for our favorite food spots and also introduces us to Save Our Sauce. Uh, business is not the same. A lot of places are suffering right now. Everybody is just in a, you know, bad spot right now. We'll be signing an order uh, that all bars in the state and all restaurants uh, will close at 9 o'clock tonight. Uh, how long this order will be in effect, uh, we don't frankly know. It's been an awful year. It doesn't feel right. Everybody's sick of this mandate, you know? Everybody's really tired of it. But we just have to endure, you know? We have to. Endure. That's the only option restaurants like Slimans have had over the last 10 months. Working with the skeleton crew, the Cleveland staple has stayed open throughout the pandemic with carryout only. In the 57 years that Slimans has been piling their famous corned beef, they've never fought so hard Crazy. to keep their doors open. We're trying our best to just keep the business going because this is some rough times going. According to Destination Cleveland, 91% of restaurants won't break even let alone turn a profit this year. And in a survey done by the Ohio Restaurant Association, 75% of restaurateurs say they may be forced to close this year. Some of these restaurants, they make up the fabric and what's so special about Cleveland. And when we lose those types of restaurants, it hurts. David Gilbert and Destination Cleveland's mission is typically to get visitors to Cleveland. Since the pandemic, they have shifted to helping Cleveland businesses simply survive. They've been working with Cuyahoga County, providing 168 small businesses with separate $10,000 grants. If we can help those businesses, and more importantly, help those people, it really makes a difference. We at Channel 3 are doing our part as well. We call it Save Our Sauce. So over the next few months, we'll be shedding a light on local restaurants like Proper Pig Barbecue in Lakewood. They've been forced to just offer carryout and delivery throughout the pandemic. Compared to business last year, Proper Pig is down 35%, but they're still going. And that's thanks to their loyal following. It just shows us that how good the community is. They tip a little more knowing that they're helping our employees out. And it's just taught us if you're willing to work hard and, and get out there and put yourself out there, that anything's possible. It takes an effort by the community for the community. You look around in your own community. What are the restaurants you'd really be sad to lose? So take a look at yourself and say, you know, this is a restaurant you'd be really sad to lose and go support them. It's that support that can mean the difference for families that desperately depend on it. The family worked hard over the years to build the name. So we want to make sure the slime is keep, keeps going for years and years to come. Only by the grace of God, but again, we we're hoping we could do it. Yeah, so much struggle, but so much grit by all of these restaurants that have remained open, doing everything they possibly can throughout the pandemic. And despite all odds really alive right now outside of Proper Pig there, one of those restaurants that we're highlighting with our Save the Sauce initiative and in our series that will be running all the way through March. So we're going to get an in-depth look at so many of these hotspots, so many of these great foodie restaurants um, that are doing everything they can to possibly um, stay open, keep their employees employed, put food on the table. And it's something that's going to be um, really great to see and just a great inside look. So, but also remember that this is up to us, Maureen, Dave, if you, uh, Doug Tratner said it right. He says, you know, if you have that favorite place, if you have that favorite restaurant, that go-to spot, it's, when was the last time you supported them? Or when's the last time you spent some money there? Because um, as much government help as a lot of these places can get, a lot of it, you know, it, it has to come from customer support as well. So something to keep in mind, but make sure you follow along with our Save the Sauce series that we're going on. Yeah, and I love what David Gilbert mixed in there too. I mean, that these restaurants became a fabric of our city. We became known as yeah. a foodie town and Destination Cleveland was even having tours, just foodie tours. And the fact that these restaurants could shut down, I mean, that would impact our city's character just forever. Yeah.
yeah, no doubt. We want to keep the workers going and we want these places to be here when this is all over. Okay, Austin, thank you.